Here we have a transverse cut of the spinal cord and the spinal nerves. So first we're gonna have the anterior side and the posterior side. On the anterior side, we're gonna have the anterior fissure. Posterior side, we're gonna have the posterior sulcus. Right there. Inside the spinal cord, we're gonna have gray matter and then white matter surrounding it. On the spinal nerves, we are going to have the dorsal side and the ventral side. The dorsal side is going to be called the dorsal root. This is the ventral root. Also on the dorsal side, we're going to have the dorsal root ganglion. And they're going to converge into the spinal nerve. From the spinal nerve right here, it's going to branch into the dorsal and ventral rami. The canal right in the center of this gray matter is called the central canal. Okay, so here we have the backside of Henry where we can see our spinal cord, which will end here at the conus medullaris. We can also see this posterior sulcus. We can also see the different layers. So first we have the dura matter, which is the most superficial layer. And then we have our arachnoid. So you can kind of tell the difference between our dura matter and then our arachnoid. And then we have our pia matter directly on top. And if we move down, we can see the end of the spinal cord with our conus medullaris again. And then we have our phylum terminale, and all the way down. And then our cauda equina is all this horsetail looking. And then we can also see our dorsal root ganglion, and then our ventral rami. Spinal cord and the dura matter. Here we have the Bacon model. We can see quite a bit on this one, and we'll start up top by the brain. So first, we can see the phrenic nerve, which innervates your diaphragm. We also see your brachial plexus on both sides, right here, right there. Moving down, we got the spinal cord right here, where the pointer's on, and the pointer is going along the anterior fissure. We can also see, if we look here, we have the ventral roots, which are sitting anterior to the dorsal roots, which are kind of deep here. It's also gonna sit anterior to the dorsal root ganglion, the more salmon color. And then here we have our ventral rami. Then we're going to have a rami communicantes here towards the sympathetic chain ganglion. Moving down to the lumbosacral plexus, we're going to see at the bottom of the spinal cord the conus medullaris, the cone structure. Then coming out of the tip of the cone is going to be the phylum terminale. And that's going to run all the way down. And it's actually just a piece of connective tissue, not part of the spinal cord. And we're going to have the quad, quad equina, which means horse tail. It looks like a horse's tail. We also can see the femoral nerve right here, and also deep to the zoas major and minor. We can also see the obturator nerve on both sides. Then we can see the here we got the sciatic nerve, and then this little stump is the pudendal. So here I'm going to show you the nerves on the leg model. So first we have femoral, and there's a deep and a superficial, so it's a deep branch and a superficial branch, but all femoral. Then in here we have our sacral plexus and our obturator nerve which will go through that obturator foramen. And then we have our common fibular right here as well. Okay, so here on this posterior side of the leg, you can see our sciatic nerve, which will then branch into our tibial nerve. 
And then our sciatic nerve will also branch into our common fibular nerve, which will wrap around, common meaning in branches. So then we have our deep branch of our fibular nerve and our superficial branch of the fibular nerve. Okay, here we have the brachial plexus. So first we're gonna start off with that axillary nerve, branches off there, and then you can also see it on the back here. Then we have that musculocutaneous branch right here, as well as in the middle of this. Goes up, perfect. Then we have the radial nerve right here. And then you can also see this one on the back, so right here and here. And then we have the ulnar branch right here. And then it dives deep, and you can also see it up the forearm by the pinky. And then we have that median nerve here. It goes on the opposite side, goes all the way up, dives deep again, and you can see it goes there. Okay, so here we have the radial nerve another radial nerve and then this one's also the radial nerve that goes up and then right here we have that little branch of that musculocutaneous nerve uh, here on the posterior side of the hand we can see our ulnar nerve coming from that medial side of the hand with the ulna our pinky so we have our ulnar nerve all this yellow. And then we also have our radial nerve coming from the lateral side of the hand, which is the side of the radius. So a radial nerve on this side. All right, here we have some collateral ganglia right there. You can also see one down here, right there. And then we also can see the vagus nerve which is all of the white that you can see going to all the organs. Here we have the vagus nerve, all the white to innervate all of these organs. We're also going to have the phrenic nerve, which is going to be this yellow part, and the collateral ganglia for these yellow spots, yellow hot spots.